All right, this is Dax, Dax's final video for the summer. And uh, this is a, a song called Mariner's... The Mariner's Revenge Song. The Mariner's Revenge Song. It's in the key of A minor, and it starts out with an accordion, so we're going to apply a little, um, uh, a little what I call the oompa technique, kind of. It's a fingering, a right hand technique, too. We're going to put the A minor chord on the left hand, and we're going to put our right hand with the index finger on the third string and the uh, the uh, or the uh, the index on the third string, the uh, middle on the second string, and the uh, ring finger on the first string. And then we're gonna we're gonna take our hand and drop the uh, butt of our hand here of our thumb up against it so we get our bass note on the fifth string to sound like this. Just one, one. And then our, our, we're gonna pluck up here and the way we wanna get this, to get the proper right hand position, the way to get it, because you were kinda doing this, and it kinda makes it hard to do that. So by moving our hand more like this, where the thumb is going down without being, without being bent, being straight out like this and then we're going to pinch with our thumb out like that and pinch our three fingers against our thumb like this and then stop it that's the technique we want to get even though we won't be stopping our fist string that much because we're going to be muting it with these three but the way we get their angle is by pinching them all together our thumb and our three fingers and once we have that angle we move our hand back and, and then lay the butt down a little bit, otherwise we, otherwise you get this, and we want that, and then we go, we go, it's called an oompa, and there's the oom, is the bass note, and then we're going to go on the first three strings, and then stop them. So, and we go to the sixth string open, which is the E, and uh, most of the bass notes in this type of music are going to be the tonic and then the fifth below it, or then when we go to the E chord, it'll be the tonic, which is the E, sixth string, and then the uh, fifth string at the second fret, the B, which is also the fifth of that uh, chord. And that will stay the same also when we go to the F chord. When it does that, So then, um, and then that's the alternating bass strings. Then we had a thing which you call the flamenco strum, which uh, is used in flamenco music. And we start with our hand. We want to turn our hand a little bit, 45 degree angle, because like this, it's kind of hard to do it like that. It's easier to do it. Turn and see how my wrist is not really that bent when I do it. And then. We could stop it. And that's how they get that. All that slap and stuff they have in flamenco, which I love. My dad gets up on the table and dances to that stuff. Well, he's 85, maybe not anymore, but he's done. All right, so, but that's starting with the little finger and then rolling the ring finger, middle finger, and index finger into it. And you've heard it in Melaguena. So that is, that's that flamenco strum, and we can use that in the stops and stuff in the song, and we know where they are. Yeah. And then the waltz, we figured out that the waltz is, goes, starts on the D minor. So instead of starting on A, even though it's still in the key of A minor, it's going to start on the, and we still use the tonic, which is the D. We're going to put a D minor chord on here, and we're going to hit the D minor once, and then we're going to go twice on the third, second, and first strings that we were doing before, stopping them like, like that, and it's gonna sound like, then we alternate between the fourth string, fifth string, fourth string, putting them together, it sounds like this. And then it go 
back to the E minor, and the strings will be fifth and sixth. Back to the D minor, and to the E, and it's going to be sixth string bass note. And as you go to the F there, that might, but you'll, you'll be able to hear if it does or not. And here it says, yeah, that's what it says it is. Here it says, it says it's, uh, yeah, and the main chords, okay, at the beginning, the, this is the waltz, it says D minor, then the A minor, then the D minor again. Accelerando. Now we're going to end up moving backwards because I never told you what the chords were on the main part of it. But let's just go on since we're at the waltz now in case you're moving through this that way. And I'll go back to the uh, um, the oompa chords. I didn't I didn't say what the name of the oompa chords are. Uh, let's just do it now. I know what those are. They're A minor like this. How many times does that go? Then the F. Six string, fifth string bass. Then the E minor again. Then the E. And then the F, which is going to be still the E and the F are both going to be six string, then fifth string bass notes. So the second bass note is higher instead of lower. Like the A minor, the first bass string is there, and the next one is lower. Same with the D minor. But on the E, because there is no note, no string lower than the sixth string, we, and the sixth string E is our bass note, then our second bass note in this case is going to be the fifth above it. You know, the first note that's the fifth of that, which is fifth of E, is a B. So we go. And then when you go to F, you do the same thing on the sixth. It's waltz. All right, and we're at eight minutes. We may get this yet. Then there's a one other part, Dex, that's a uh, accelerando part. It gets faster and faster, and it starts instead of starting on the uh, A minor. Um, and we did go through those parts, right? On the on the verse. Let's start on the D minor. The accelerano does, yes, you're right. So I was just, did I already say the names of the chords? Or did I go backwards and say the names? Yeah, of the, yeah. Okay, all right, so then, it, anyway, if I didn't, it's A minor, then an F, then an A minor, then an E, F, E. That's on the original, the, the first part of it. Now I'm gonna move back where I left off before I backtracked there to uh, the accelerando part, which gets faster and faster. And this is, starts with a D minor, and it's the same oompa, oompa thing with the, on the D minor, four string first, and then to the A minor, then the D minor again, then the E, F, E, and it starts getting faster. Just twice that long. I'm sorry. Harmonic rhythm. It should be. Then the A minor. So it's once, twice, three times, four times. Once. And the D minor twice, three times. And then the E. 